talking about Jamaica, this might sound weird, but they're missing a lot of key players. When you're analyzing a team like that, is it more difficult to analyze a team that is missing key players and maybe you're no better? No, I don't think it's more difficult. I think we've got a great staff that, you know, analyzes each game very uh, in depth and um, it's just about us, you know, not being complacent and focusing on every moment of the game. And if we do that, um, you know, we're expecting a good result. Anything you think, two or three things you guys really want to fine tune ahead of Copa this summer, looking back at the tape from the fall and um, even looking back to the World Cup, things you guys are really trying to improve on ahead of the big tournament? Yeah, I think it's just continue to show up in big moments um, and continue to, you know, win games in um, important tournaments. And um, this is obviously an important tournament, and um, our goal is to win it. Greg? Of course. How do you feel again to have the opportunity to compete and defend your title? Yeah, uh, we're really excited. Um, pretty special opportunity, you know, to win this for the third year in a row. So, um, yeah, we're excited. It's going to be a tough first challenge, and, uh, yeah, really, really looking forward to these matches. Uh, how it feels like well, it's a fact that they have a lot of, like, key players missing. What can you tell us about Jamaica? Have you guys been obviously watching videos, studying them? What can we expect? You to do? Yeah, um, obviously we've been watching uh, some videos, and... Um, we have to be well prepared, um, whether they're missing players or, or not. Um, we can never be complacent. We have to be ready to, to face a team that's going to fight. They have an opportunity now, you know, in the semifinal to, to win this as well. So um, it's going to be a tough first match, and we, we have to be uh, we have to be on top of our game. Obviously, your focus is to win the game tomorrow, but long term, in terms of what you guys are trying to build towards with Copa on the horizon, um, could you narrow down like two or three things that you guys really want to get out of this camp? You really want to fine tune? Uh, as you, as you move yeah, I mean, for us, it's about just thriving and knockout competition, I think, is, is key. Um, because when you have these one-off games, which is what we're going to be looking at in, like you said, Copa, in World Cup, um, once we get into that, that next step, and uh, we have to be, um, yeah, I think we need to be really strong in those moments and uh, know that one mistake can cost you, and we need to punish the other the opponents as well when we get the opportunity. So I think uh, that's just an area where... Um, that we can improve. Obviously, looking back at the last World Cup too, um, in those in those knockout, those big games where we need to uh, be clinical and uh, yeah, you know, play well. I think uh, this is where we're looking to improve. Right? Anything in terms of final third that you guys really want to improve on? I mean, I'm not gonna get incredibly specific, but um, I think it's about. I mean, for us, for us, it's about being as clinical as we can with our, you know, in the final third with our final ball, with our finishing, with our, when we get opportunity, making sure we don't let up on teams as well. And uh, um, if we have the opportunity to finish off games, if we have, uh, you know, we need to be, we need to be clinical in those moments. Let me ask you, if everything goes good, you will face Mexico on Sunday. So let me ask you, what is like playing in the U.S. with a pro-Mexico crowd? <laughs> um, I mean... Yeah, I mean, we're not going to look too much into into that already. We need to win. They need to win um, to get into the final. Um, I mean, we, we've we've had a we've had a lot of tests um, against Mexico over the years, and uh, we enjoy those matches always. Um, uh, it's always uh, it's always tough. They they of course always draw a great crowd, but you know we've I think improved a lot as well with, with our fan base, and uh, yeah, it, it'll be it'll be a good. You does, know. It, does it feel a little bit weird to play in a hostile environment? In your own country? No, I, I think, uh, like I said, um, our fan base has improved a lot. Um, I think uh, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't feel it doesn't feel that way all the time. But I think, uh, yeah, like I said, they have amazing fans, and it, it's it's just a good test for us. What's the competition that you think these trainings? Greg said the other day this was maybe the most difficult roster. Yeah, I think uh, it's exciting, you know, when you have competition like this. Um, we obviously have guys playing, you know, across the best leagues and the best, some of the best teams in the world. Um, and uh, it's just exciting as a program for us to get back together and, and have these battles with each other. Um, so I think it's, uh, it's good problems to have. Have you felt that it's been more competitive? I mean, I, I feel like it's not an incredibly new team that I, you know, I know most of these guys, so um, I think it's always a high level, um, and it's only been improving every time, so I would say that. You're obviously in really great form on the pitch in Italy, in Italy right now. How are things going 
off the field in terms of language, cultural um, adjustment? Is that going just as well? Yeah, yeah, I'm enjoying it a lot. Um, it's uh, it's been a good change of pace for me. Uh, I'm I'm loving the Italian culture. Yeah, I'm trying to soak it all in. I'm doing the best I can, learning the language. Um, so I feel pretty good with all that stuff. And uh, yeah, I'm just I'm loving it so far. Are you confident speaking with people yet, or where is that? Uh, yeah, I mean I understand about everything. Um, you know, they asked me if I could do my interview in Italian um, the other day, and I was like, yeah, you can ask the questions. I'll I'll answer in English, but next time. So I'm I'm getting close, but still 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 not fluent. <laughs> Do you talk about playing here in this venue, it, it, just being here in Dallas, and all into playing here? Can you comment on that? Uh, yeah, I'm excited to play uh, at this stadium. We never, I never been, uh, never been there before, so uh, I'm excited. I haven't been to Dallas in a long time. Um, I don't know. Yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be sick. I mean, I've only heard amazing things about the, about this place, so um, I think it'll be a really good atmosphere, and hopefully, it'll be a good crowd. It's, uh, I'm excited. Yeah, I mean, for me, you know, I've, I've been so honored to be able to do this for a few years, but it never gets old. I mean, um, representing the USA, doing what I love, um, it's, it's, a, it's a blessing. Thank you, guys. Uh, no, it's amazing. I haven't. Uh, I've never played in in Dallas in my professional career. I came back here with the uh, with Juventus one summer, but I was injured, so unfortunately wasn't able to play. Um, but no, it's, it's definitely exciting. I'm, I'm walking around and telling people like, oh, this is this is where I used to train. Like, they took the field goals down from field two. The, my locker was over here, and all this stuff. So it's it's amazing to be able to show people where I, uh, where I kind of grew up and and where I, uh, my old stopping grounds used to be. So let me ask you, what is like playing in the U.S. with a pro Mexico crowd? Uh, I mean, it's it's pretty normal, honestly. Uh, it's a uh, very populated. The USA is very populated with uh, Hispanics and, and Mexicans. So I think, um, you know, oh, that's a fine. That's a fine right there. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. I'm playing. No, um, no, it's 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 obviously something we're used to. It's it's nothing new, um, especially in, a, in an area like Dallas. Uh, I grew up around a lot of Mexicans as well, and the majority of my team was Mexican. So um, honestly, it's it's just another another challenge, and we'll just uh, treat it like any other game. Does it feel weird to play in a hostile environment in your own country? Uh, no, I don't, I don't, I wouldn't say that it's really hostile. I think it's, uh, everybody wants their team to win. Uh, everybody's showing support the way they can and how they know best. Uh, we're, we're used to the, the, these kind of games and, and I think we'll handle it well, just like we always have. Big picture with the World Cup in the last two years. How important is winning Nations Uh, I think it's gonna help a lot. I believe you know the one thing that we're uh, that we uh, really like to, to experience are knockout games and, and knockout uh, tournaments. So I think uh, you know just putting another trophy under our belt, uh, build confidence going into Copa America this summer will be amazing for us, uh, especially a, a boost of confidence. And um, I think Copa America is, is right around the corner. We're preparing for it, and hopefully we can uh, make the country proud. Hopefully we can make ourselves proud and. and see how we line up against, uh, you know, different type of competition. Anything in particular you're looking to fine-tune uh, in these games, looking ahead to Copa, based on tape from the fall, you know, two or three things you think you guys can really improve uh, getting ready for Copa? Um, honestly, I, I think, you know, we, we we know what we have to improve on. I think we can be maybe more clinical in the, in the final third and, and being more effective maybe if we don't. If we have a type of game where we might not create three, four, five chances, maybe if we do create one chance that we, we capitalize on it, um, and, and just you know we're just tuning up on our on our uh, not familiarity, but just like being around each other again. We've been together since November, um, so I think just fine tuning the connection that we've always had our whole lives, and and, uh, and just building it stronger, and making it stronger for the for the next competition, because that's one of our biggest strengths is. Uh, is our, um, our chemistry together, so I think just getting that back in, in tune will be important for us. On that topic with finishing chances, there's like 
at least five strikers who are in really good form right now. Your thoughts on the guys who are in camp and the guys who aren't in camp, that, that whole striker competition, you know, um, I mean, I, I think the, the coach knows what he's doing. The coach, uh, the coach, um, obviously has his, his choices and, and reasons why he, he brought the people that he brought into camp. Uh, that's not really my place to to kind of uh, give a comment on because I, I just come here to do my job, and, and every time I get to come in is a good opportunity for me as well. So, um, obviously, anyone that any one of the strikers that he calls in. Uh, everyone knows, everyone's familiar with, and uh, are comfortable with, and, and trust in that position. So, whether it's uh, Haji, Balligan, or Pepe, or if it's Josh, or the other players that, that are um, that are outside of camp, I think we're we're comfortable with. One more question, so back. <coughs> what's it like? It's a very genuine job question. What's it like wearing those colors? What's it mean to you? Uh, it means a lot. I mean, you know, I have a lot of. Uh, respect for, for, for the country. My dad served the country just in a different way. Um, so for me to be able to, to put the jersey on and, and put these colors on is a, is a blessing for me. I, I've i supported the, the national team since uh, 2006, 2007, when I first met them in, in Germany and, and dreamed about always being able to play for the national team. And, and now I get to do that and, and hopefully uh, continue doing that for, for a long time. Thanks, Wes. Uh, Army, airborne. Thanks, Wes. Thank, Thank you. you.